Chitori Tokachagwa. And in his will, he directed that we sell all his properties and divide the proceeds among his brothers, sisters, wives, and children. We as the executors of his estate, and I want to pay tribute to lawyer Joroge Regero and Mwai Madenge for their commitment and sacrifice to the Gachagwa family. Many executors who have been given properties to run by deceased people end up misusing them and depriving the beneficiaries. These two great men and myself, because my brother knew I'm an honest man and a fair person, and he knew his family would never suffer in my hands. We were able to sell Olive Garden Hotel at 412 million and distributed the proceeds to the beneficiaries as directed in his will. We registered his will in the High Court of Kenya and were given the profit. And my late brother, in his wisdom, left regarding Gashagwa 5% of his wealth. I was therefore able to get 20 million shillings from this sale. That is money that is in my account that again I'm told they are proceeds of crime. He left my mother 5% of his wealth, another 20 million shillings. And since my mother is dead, my late brother, because he trusted me, had put in his will that I hold my mother's shares in trust. So that is another 20 million shillings in my account. Again, my late brother left me another 4% hold in trust of the children who is deceased, the late doctor friend Washira Gashagwa, whose children are in South Africa. And another 16 million shillings was put in my account. My late brother gave 2% to my wife, Pastor Dalkas, because of her kindness of looking after him when he was ill. All this money that has come to me from a dead brother, I'm being told a proceeds of crime. Um, Queen's, Gate, Queen's Gate Service Apartments, another property belonging to the late Gashagwa, is another property that I'm told I've bought as when I'm deputy president. That is why I have 5.2 billion worth of money. And this property, again, we sold the Cooperative Bank of Kenya, the staff retirement benefits for nearly 600 million. And this money we utilized to pay his debts. And today, as the Ed Kashagwa is in heaven, he has no debt. Again, I want to thank my fellow executors for what you have done for my brother. Vipingo Beach Resort in Kilifi was Gashagwa's holiday home, a beautiful palatial resort on three and a half acres on the beach. I remember with nostalgia that he used to host us there every Christmas to enjoy ourselves. This property belongs to the estate of the deceased because ourselves have a family. We want to retain it for sentimental value so that when we visit there, we remember him. The Honorable Mutusa again goes to the in a very emotional manner, quoting the Bible, says that this property has been bought corruptly by the deputy president without knowing where the money has come from. 
I have seen some land, Rogoro Kiamariga, 1223 in Matera East constituency. To start with, Rogoro Kiamariga is not in Matera East constituency. It is in Matera West constituency. In haste to dispose of the deputy president because of political deceit and conmanship and betrayal. They could not even get it right where the land is treated. They were in such a haste to get rid of the deputy president. The land is Ruguru stroke Kiamariga, 1223, in Madeira West constituency. It's a two acre land. It's alleged it has a helipad. It's a lie. The land is too. And I have planted Napier grass for my daily unit. I bought it at 3.5 million shillings. Again, from my dairy farm. I have a dairy farm. 50 cows. And I do make an income of almost 1.5 million shillings every month. They afford to buy two acres of land. And I take this opportunity any time I've gone to the Rift Valley in appreciation of the support I give President gives me a cow or two. And within two years I have the largest dairy farm in Madeira of the Kalijin people. I want to thank them for their kindness. In Kakuret Kabraine in Kenya in your constituency, as Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, I saw the Honorable Jiroge Wainaina, the MP for Kenya, signed the notice of motion to impeach me on the allegations, this one being among them. 